Welcome to the class 7 students. This is the continuation part of the chapter allergy. In my previous two videos, I have uh, discussed till the uh, table uh, on the page 99, table number 9.1, uh, where you will find some common allergens and their possible allergic reactions. So, I hope uh, all those are clear to you all because uh, this chart is very, very important for short answer type question or objective type of questions. So, you will have to learn all the allergens in this chart and about 3 to 4 possible allergic reactions of each allergen. Okay. So, now I will uh, continue with the next topic of this chapter which is the entry route of the allergens. Means through which route, means through which pathway to these allergens enter our body in such a way that they cause allergic reactions. Okay? Now, an allergen can enter the body in the following ways. Number one is through the nose. So, while we are breathing, the allergens uh, can enter uh, through our uh, nose. See, allergens such as pollen grains, dust and animal hair can enter the body when a person breathes in. So, pollen grain, dust and animal hair, they are such small and light and little things that uh, they are always flying in the uh, air. Okay, that we are living in and we are breathing that air. So, while we are breathing in those things, those light weight always in the air, things can enter our uh, body through the nose. Okay, so this is the first entry route. Next one is through mouth. So, how do they enter, uh, these allergens enter our body through the mouth? Food allergens. So, previously while they, we were discussing about the chart of allergens, there we found some food allergens that means uh, food particles or food substances that can cause allergy. For example, milk, egg, uh, prawn, uh, certain types of foods, these um, can cause allergy. So, obviously those food allergens, they enter through our mouth and cause allergy. Food allergens such as milk, egg, fish and some medicines enter the body when a person eats such food. So, uh, talking about medicines, I have previously talked about tetracycline and penicillin about some people having al allergy to these medicines as well. Okay, so they try to avoid these medicines and take substitutes of those medicines. Okay, so first uh, one and two are done. Number three is through skin. Okay, <clears throat> how does the allergens enter through the skin? Allergic reactions also occur due to insect bites and stings. So previously in the chart also you will find um, insect bite uh, and stings from the wasps, bees. They also cause uh, allergic reactions in our body and they occur due to insect bites and stings. These, uh, these allergic reactions, sometimes allergy is also caused when our skin comes in contact with certain metals or cosmetics in strong sunlight. So, these are also the other allergens that uh, can cause possible allergic reactions, cosmetics one I have told you and I have also told, about, told you about strong sunlight, uh, about how some people are totally uh, intolerable of strong sunlight and which can cause rashes and other different uh, allergic reactions in their body. So, these are the possible entry routes of uh, different types of allergens in a allergic person's body or in any person. Okay. <clears throat> now, we will move on to the next topic of this chapter which is types of allergy. <coughs> types of allergy. Number 1. So, let us read from the book. Based on the period of occurrence of allergy, that means when this allergy is occurring, based on that, allergy can be of two types. Number 1 is seasonal allergy. Okay. So, what is seasonal allergy? When the allergy occurs at a particular time of the year or a particular season of the year, it is called seasonal allergy. For example, regular sneezing and coughing during winter indicates seasoning, uh, seasonal allergy. Allergy to pollen grains is very common during the spring season. 
During this season, many flowers bloom and pollen grains are dispersed. Pollen allergies are also known as hay fever. So, we will talk about uh, different types of allergies, their symptoms, how they occur in details later on. But since we are talking about seasonal allergy now, so hay fever or the allergy from pollen grains, uh, they are very common and they occur during the spring season. Okay. Similarly, allergies due to sunlight exposure are also similar especially it occurs during the summer season when the uh, intensity of the sunlight is very very high and then uh, people who are absolutely intolerable to uh, strong sunlight they face this type of uh, allergies okay so seasonal allergy is those allergies uh, when which occur at a particular time or season of the year okay now next one is the perennial energy perennial allergy such allergies are not linked to any particular season and can also occur at any time of the year so unlike seasonal allergy these type of allergies are not uh, particular for any season or any particular time of the year they can occur at any time of the year just like food uh, allergies all those food allergens can people can eat those at any time and those who are allergic to those diseases will have uh, allergy at any time of the year such allergies are not linked to any particular season and can occur at any time of the year allergy to dust insect bites food substances and mites are perennial allergies okay so i hope you have understood what these two type of allergies are seasonal which occurs at a particular season or particular time of the year and per perennial allergy which uh, are irrespective of any particular time or season of the year and can cause at any time of the year so examples also i have discussed okay now next topic is how an allergic reaction occurs before going into that topic here in page number 100 100 at the top right top left corner you will find a box where you will find a few uh, terms and their meanings so these terms we have already come across previously in the uh, table at page number 99 so let's learn those meanings okay first one is dander a material shed from the body of various animals including animals which have fur hair or feathers so basically dander consists of animal feather or animal hair and as i said that they can um, cause allergies and can enter the uh, body through the nose okay next we come to the hives an allergic skin reaction causing localized redness swelling and itching so basically one particular area of the body is extremely red has become reddened due to the allergic skin reaction it has swollen and um, itching means the urge to eat is there so this that condition is known as hive okay next is dermatitis as i have told you previously any medical skin condition is known as dermatitis see the definition is written here a medical condition in which the skin becomes red swollen and sore sore means kind of painful okay uh, sometimes with small blisters resulting from direct irritation of the skin by an external agent or an allergic reaction to it so these are the different conditions of dermatitis lastly we come to the term that i have already explained to you which is wheezing breathe with a whistling or rattling sound in the chest as a result of obstruction in the air passage so we have our air passages and air should be able to pass through those air passages without any hindrance or without any obstruction if there is any obstruction those rattling or uh, see whistling sound uh, will come out since uh, the air passage is not clear and that condition is known as wheezing okay so these terms you will have to learn for short answer type questions and in the next video i will continue with how an allergic reactions occur